Alright guys. So, this is what I did. Um, got a new app called uh, Touch OSC. It uh, basically allows you to utilize uh, an iPad, a iPod Touch, uh, or an iPhone to basically become a uh, full out customizable MIDI controller. Um, everything can be customized, the whole entire interface can be switched around left, right, colors, buttons, you name it. I mean, it's all customizable. Um, extremely, extremely cool. Uh, so I'm just kind of going to show you what this thing can do. Um, so you see I just got Serato running here. I got a few effects that I've lined up. Um, I'm actually running CDJs um, in HID mode. So these guys are also running MIDI, uh, as well as that's running MIDI. Um, and basically, this is connected via Wi-Fi. This is not done through any type of cable. Uh, this is completely not plugged in, and it will completely work. Um, basically, all you gotta do on a computer, in this case Mac, you just uh, create an ad hoc network. Uh, it's basically just a Wi-Fi connection that the computer creates itself that another unit can connect to. It doesn't give any internet service at all, but it allows the two to connect wirelessly. Uh, not through Bluetooth, not through anything like that, just through Wi-Fi. Uh, I'm going to kind of show you how uh, on point this thing is. Uh, again, extremely, I got a, uh, I'll show you what I did. I got, um, I got a loop roll set up, uh, auto loop, so basically if I hold down a button here, I'll even show you. It's just looping. Let's right back into the key. A little longer, or shorter. Another one. So pretty cool. So what I did was I got certain effects toggled here. I got a low pass filter. Got some flanger. I haven't yet to set up the crusher, so I won't be able to show you that yet. But both tracks also can do this. But I'm just gonna do one just to kind of give you an idea how this works. So basically let's put the volume real fast here. Hopefully I can do this with uh with one hand. Try my best though. There we go, ready? That's what I'll show you another thing. This, uh, I have each three here. Focus this. Each of these toggles is basically will affect a certain, you know, option on there. So the first one actually, if I turn that on, my, uh, my pad here becomes a little pass filter. So I can start at the bottom here. As I go up, cuts it off, put it down. I got, I got a flanger on this one. And of course, this would be like a beat crusher if I ever started off. I can also put the two together. There you go. So, completely on the fly, zero latency, very cool. A lot of times I'll mix up these loop rolls as well. Try this out. And, uh, and so, you see how like, versatile this actually is. So, 
that sort of kind of shows you how fucking versatile this thing is. Um, I absolutely love this. Um, I really have to start messing around with uh, just the interface thing, make it a little bit cleaner, add my name to it. Uh, you can actually add more pages, so if I wanted this just to be like a huge like chaos pad, for lack of a better word, you can add this page to this and then go to another page to have a sampler and so on. So pretty cool. Um, definitely gives you a better effect while DJing, because as we all know on the, on the TTM, Accessing effects is not user friendly at all. I mean, you gotta choose different options here. Oh, sorry, sorry, knobs, turn things on and off. It's just, just it's it's not something I want to do when DJing, to be honest. Whoa. But this here, everything you need. Not only is it a great, you know, fucking iPad, it does all this as well. I mean, it's it's pretty incredible. Um, as you can see, I have all my specific settings set up, pre set up. And of course, as I touch this here, it affects that there, all in real time. Um, that's basically it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment. I mean, I'm just kind of just displaying what this can do. There's not much uh, tutorials out there. Um, it did take me a little while to really even get used to just uh, basically you know, coding this properly within the computer to allow it to read. It's not something where I just set this stuff up and it just works. It's, it's, it's not like that at all. Um, a lot of uh, setup you have to do, kind of trial and error. This stuff was pretty much just messing around with it to figure it out. Otherwise, I'm extremely happy. Next question is where do I put it? Okay, maybe lay it up right there. Who knows? Alright guys, thanks for watching, and uh, this is Touch OSC, running on the iPad.